Hi everybody. Today I'm going to read to you one of my most favorite stories. It's called I Grow in Granddad's Garden. It's written by Brian Andrew and his granddaughter Ellie. And there's Brian and Ellie sitting on the garden bench. This is a map of Granddad's Garden taken from way up in the sky. And you can see all of the different places that we're going to visit today as we take a walk around. So let's join Ellie and her granddad as they take a growing journey through Granddad's Garden. Tropical trees and flowering bushes grow in Granddad's Garden. When I'm in Granddad's Garden, I grow too. There's Ellie dancing through the garden with the butterflies and the birds. When I want to grow, we walk below the cascading vines of Bougainvillea. We sit on the think and thank seat. First, we listen. We hear wind in the trees and chattering lorikeets. Sometimes we hear kookaburras laugh. After a while, you have more room in your head. Granddad says, that's what peace is. He says, now is a good time to say thank you. I say thank you for my mom and dad, my brothers and sister, my toys and clothes, and our holiday at the beach. When I say thank you, I feel good inside. What can you say thank you for? Granddad always says thank you that we live in Australia because it is one of the brightest and happiest countries in the world. We hear a screech of big cockatoos as he head down the garden path. Granddad thinks they screech so loud because they know they are beautiful and they want everyone else to know too duck under a golden cane branch as we pass the tired old garden shed. Just before we head into the rainforest, we sit on the let go log. Granddad says, everyone ends up carrying hurts on the inside. Sometimes others hurt us by what they say and do, and sometimes we hurt others by what we say or do. Sometimes I don't want to talk about it. Granddad says people try to hide their hurts inside, but you can see it on the sadness in their eyes or the speed of their anger. When you get your hurts out, you feel like singing or even dancing. Sometimes we need help to get them out and let go of them. Have you got any hurts inside? Granddad planted lots of grevillea bushes and lily-pilly trees for the birds and butterflies. They love the bright sticky flowers and shiny red berries. When we walk through Granddad's rainforest trail, we see skinks running away and sometimes a blue-tongued lizard lying in the sun. Just past the tall pawpaw tree, we come to a, a rock walls around the little beach of bright white sand. Climbing down and around and across and up, we sit at the crossover corner. Granddad asked me if there's anything coming up that makes me worried or afraid, like when I start school or begin something new. He says when we take a, a step towards something new, courage fills our heart. He says, if we wait for courage to come to us, we'll be waiting a long time. Granddad says, if we think we can't do something, we probably won't. But if we think we can, we probably will. He says, we'll never know if we don't give it a go. Is there something coming your way that you will need to extra courage to do? I run across the grass to the swing. I want Granddad to push me higher. 
He says if he pushes me any higher, he might never see me again. Granddad says, let's go to the dream table. I run ahead of him and sit at the round table. I look across the pool and high up into the tiny leaves of the leopard tree. Granddad says we're designed to dream and that seeds of dreams are put into the soil of our heart. He says good dreams are about growing, going and giving. Even though most of his hair is grey, he still has lots of dreams. Granddad asks me what my dreams are. I tell him I want to be a nurse and a dancer. He says we need to feed our dreams by remembering them and taking small steps towards them. What are your dreams? When I walk and talk with Grandad, my heart sings. That's how I grow in Grandad's garden. That's our story for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.